Hello, morning. Uh, Trev here. I'm just at Cutslow and um, Sunnymead Park in Oxford, just going to their park run. I've not been for a few, um, well, for at least a year and maybe even two two years to this park because I've been involved with uh, the University Parks Park Run in the centre of town. But this is um, the original um, park run in Oxford, or the first park run in Oxford. So it's called Oxford Park Run. Um, and yeah, a beautiful park, a award-winning park. It's kind of got lots of areas in it. You can just have a little look at the park. Some people playing volleyball over there. Okay, so there are two car parks in um, Cutslow Park. So the bypass actually has a little car park by it. Um, not very busy at the moment. And there's another car park right at the other side of the park over here. In terms of the charges, charges apply from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So you'd be all right with a park run and um, as long as you finish it within an hour, so as, as long as you're a little bit quicker than that, then you wouldn't need to pay anything, but you can get a charge of up to an hour, up to an hour, one pound, and then two pounds, 20, as you can see, or three pound, 20. Okay, so just showing a few facilities at the park. This is, seems to be an old splash park. I'm not sure if that works anymore. You've got some toilet facilities um, over here. It looks like a crazy golf course. And you've got pavilion, so you've got some events go on. I've never seen an event in here, but um, looks like there are events. But yeah, mini golf. <coughs> so you've got mini golf, you can see behind the mini golf. There's an amazing park with lots of different sort of slides and swings and various different things. Got a cafe. The cafe is open nine to five. I'm a little bit early today, so the cafe's not open yet, but it'll be open after <coughs> after park one. Let's have a look at their menu. So you can pause it, but um, independent cafe to get your coffees and your snacks and also some ice creams and let's have a little look around here so this is um part of the park i didn't look around this park for quite a while because park run sort of runs around the park but actually the facilities in the middle are absolutely brilliant in terms of what you can do so you have this sort of very very generous sand pit with um, a water thing again unfortunately the water things at uh, fountains like this often break but um, you've got a zip line that's broken so yeah so which is normal unfortunately but hopefully they will repair those sorts of things but this is quite cool isn't it so you have a, a climbing frame and an amazing slide so that slide will come all the way down there there is a pond can't remember where the pond is i think it's over over here a duck pond i've been to before and yeah let's say um like we saw earlier some volleyball courts some very very nice sort of um trees and sort of walks you can have okay so we've got these cool water refill wondering if it works yeah it does so um if you've got a bottle you can refill it to refill point so the park, um, the park run starts just up, up here, and there were other things. So a miniature rail railway, which you can um, ride. I don't know if miniature railway is the right word because it's, um, you know, one that you can sit on with um, with kids, or kids can sit on it. So yeah, there we go. Park run arrow. Here we go. You can see them setting up just there, and a little bit better look at this park. Play park, sorry. Yeah, you've got a good number of things for kids to go on, some various different swings, and I quite like those. <laughs> These ones here, they are very, very quick. Um, there's my oop. Yeah, so you can kind of get, get four, four kind of smaller kids go round and round very fast <laughs> um, but yeah the railway so this is a miniature railway which I've never seen working but I hear that they have redone it 
In fact, I remember many park runs. So this used to be a park when I came to very, very regularly. Um, there was always sort of works going on in this section. So this is possibly the first time I've ever seen it finished. So um, this goes right round. Um, yeah, nice loop. It'd be nice to see that working at some point um, myself. Um, but I hear it does it does go. And there are some other things over there. There were um, sort of an aviary, so with birds and some various things in the middle of the park. But I might show you those in a, in a little bit. But yeah, Oxford Park Run. Let's go and see the start. And the other car park is the other side, so a lot of people come, or well, the main car park is this side, so many people will come that way. There's the finish funnel, start as far as I remember was somewhere around here. Two laps. Okay, so here's a little park run flag. Whoop, go over the railway, just having a little look at some of the railway bits. Hopefully this will be open in the summer. So you've actually got um, a model railway inside here going round um, and I've never seen it, seen it working but I'm assuming it does and you've got a kind of a bigger train that you can sit on that comes out and goes round the park and I'm oh, so keen to try it at some point but I've never seen it seen it working because it was been in repair and then Covid. <coughs> Here we go. Whoa okay next public running is the 21st of April on Sunday. Okay so <laughs> and we've got a little timetable here as well. Okay, great. So you can pause it and have a little read of that. Fare is £1.50. What an amazing little thing. This miniature, miniature railway, not model. So yeah, although there is a model railway as well. So miniature railway and a model railway in Cutslow Park. Okay, so this is the, the top car park, top pavilion and um, this is where most people will come into the park because it's the main car park and the one on the bypass is only if you're going, let me get this right, um, clockwise, not anti-clockwise. So there's only a very small car park the other side, this is the main car park but it's still not huge so yeah if you do live locally then do consider um, using other transport um, and you can see there's all of the car park marshals just getting people in didn't have a car park marshal on my side but I think that I was just a little bit early and um, the top pavilion also has some facilities um, <coughs> some public toilets so you've got toilets both sides um, and yeah very very um, beautiful kind of park with lots of fields big fields big space um, when we run we sort of run along this tree line and then up here and then back down So you can see there's quite a lot going on in this park. You've got sort of tennis, you've got um, the pond, you've got um, a miniature railway, you've got ODS depot. <laughs> um, 1936 this park was um, established. So you've got some nice sort of little bug house, well big bug house there. There's the tennis courts down there. You've got another bug house down here. There is a pond. I'm going to see if I can quickly find the pond before park run starts. Um, <coughs> this is the first park run. Apparently they, they were looking to start a park run in Oxford. I can't remember the date. So I'll look it up. But um, they um, didn't have faith of whether it would work. So um, Abingdon actually started before Oxford. Um, so Oxford saw that Abingdon was a success and then we got our first one in Oxford. Oh, right, okay, so we've got a peace mile. More woodland and yes, here's the pond. I knew it was here. So.
yeah, nice pond. You see any ducks? There are some ducks and um, various swans, but um, can't see today. And like I say, the park run runs around the outside of the park. So you don't really run through this bit and you might sort of miss it, to be honest, because there's quite a lot going on in the center of Cutso Park. But yeah, in terms of the park run, this is the first one in Oxford. So that's why, it, hence it's called Oxford Park Run, although now there are four in Oxford. So I'll try and sort of cover all of them. There we go, the Peace Mile. So we've got uni University Parks, we've got Horse Path, and we've got um, Harcourt Hill. So Harcourt Hill was the, the next one to start. And then Horse Path, um, sadly kind of tried to start so many times and then the lockdown hit just as it was sort of due to start. Um, so it was kind of quite a delayed, frustrating start for Horse Path. And um, it pretty much ended up starting just before University Parks. Um, all of them are, um, are really nice events. Yeah, so down here, I think this is where in the winter course, we go along this path, I think up here. Yeah, so you could, if you knew the pond was there, you, you could look across for it. Um, but I've, <laughs> it's more, more recent that I've discovered that the pond is actually there. Hello duck. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's some dogs in this park. It's a dog friendly park. And um, for the park run, you can also run with your dog, I believe, which I hope to do at some point. Um, so in the winter course, you go down here. In the summer course, you would go round and round this big playing field round there and just do um, two laps. So I'm thinking it's going to be a summer course today because the ground looks pretty dry and it does feel like um, summer. Yeah, let's make our way to the start. So we're just walking to the start line. I couldn't actually hear the, the first time as brief, so <laughs> I don't actually know if we are doing a one lap, sorry, two lap or three lap course. Um, I'm assuming it's a two lap course because it looks fairly dry, but I will just follow everyone else. And in the past, sometimes you do a little lap of this initial field as well, but it does look that, like they put flags out, so I'm assuming it's just a straight two laps of the whole park. There's the tail walker with a dog. Marshals. A few dogs, so dogs are very welcome here, which is a very, really good plus point. Okay, so we just started. Um, couldn't hear the brief overly well, actually. I could do with a, a sound system, but um, um, three lap winter course, but it's a lot drier, so that's great. Quite a lot of people here.
Thank you, Marshall. Beach volleyball. I don't know anywhere else that does beach volleyball, but it does this park. Oh, looks like there's some allotments there. Near that. Another entrance. Community orchard. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Okay, so if we look to the left, there is the pond. Some course would go over that way two laps, but winter course three laps. So I'll see if I can do one lap to show you the whole the whole route. That's the pond. A little bit of mud, but hardly any now, which is great. So very buggy friendly. Okay, this is the muddiest bit, I think. Yeah, I didn't get any mud. a pavilion so three pavilions <laughs> that's how big the park is let's have three pavilions <coughs> it's always a hard bit got a little hill but it feels big when you're when you're running see people with their milestone t-shirts 
100 park runs. See the railway over there. Thank you, Marshall. Okay, and now we're coming round for the first of three laps. So, okay, and a big hello to Emily and Kiki, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed. That's the beach volleyball in the background to the channel. So. Do please click subscribe and drop a comment if you want to see different videos. We're enjoying these videos. Really helps me see what, what you and want to see more of. Okay, I will carry on to the finish. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the, the finish or the final couple of bends before the finish. Just admiring these lovely trees. Um, some coffees. There is, I think, or there suddenly used to be a shop or garden centre type shop and an aviary down there. I haven't had a chance to go and see if it's still open so if you do know do drop a comment but lots going on in this park. Um, well worth checking out over the summer. So yeah I've got one more bend and then I'll be going through the finish funnel. Those of you who've not done park runs before, so it's 5k and you're welcome to jog or run or walk. There's not a great deal of walkers to be fair, but um, if you're a confident walker, they do want to try and encourage more walkers. <laughs> station station stuff. <laughs> I like that little ticket booth. But yeah, once you finish your 5k, do go through the finish run and I'll show you what to do in just a second but you get a token which you then get scanned thank you Marshall thank you some people like the sprint I'm not sure that I'm gonna sprint today Thank you, Marshalls. So yeah, that was the, the point where you get your time. Once you're in the funnel, stay in the funnel. Some, some split into two, but just stay in the funnel, do what the Marshalls tell you. Um, and then I will get a token. 
thank you very much. This is my number, which corresponds to my time. And then we get it scanned, if I get my barcode out. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good, thank you. So I've got it printed on, on this. I did have a, a band, unfortunately I've, I've lost it for the moment, but there's my Parkrun ID. You can do it on a phone now. So a few people scanning today. If you don't fancy running, you can volunteer. It's not for everybody. Hello. Morning. Hello. Okay. Thank you, Trevor. Okay, thanks. And and perfect, thank you. Just thank you. And then you just pop it in there. And um, that's it. Yeah, so um, remember to give your token back and if you're not registered already, it is free to register for Parkrun. Um, I've, I've, I've liked Parkrun for quite a long time, so um, I'll show you the start. They didn't actually put that at the start in the end and Oxford Parkrun. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to the cafe and see if I can get a bacon roll. Okay, so I've just got my um, bacon roll. Big queue for um, coffee and snacks after, but it's a great cafe. Yeah, really, really good. They did try to open, he opened um, one in Florence Park, which wasn't successful, unfortunately. This was the original, um, the, the original cafe that I remember his business. But yeah, does a, a big selection of different foods and um, snacks and, and various things and yeah really good um park really really nice very much recommend checking it out if you haven't already or if you're visiting oxford um so that's cutslow park oxford park run okay um thanks for watching do check out the other videos and um see you soon